look at this beautiful view we have. That's beautiful, man. I love that. King saw. King, King saw? Yeah. King That's, saw. Look at that. King saw. I've never seen that before. Is it easy to learn? No, it's not. <laughs> I'm on it for like a month now. It's so difficult. Oh, you look good, man. Thank you. Enjoy. All right, you too. Stay safe. So over in Jersey today, visiting the CMO, and on my way back to Long Island, I figured I'd get or give you guys a view of Manhattan from the Jersey side. Let's see if I can zoom in. What's up, Devon? Let me know if you can hear me okay. So you got Midtown, Manhattan. Carl, what's up, bruh? Is the audio coming up, coming in pretty good? Spot. Cool. So I am in a park. I don't know the name of this park, but it's, uh, it's a beautiful sky today. It was very hot in New York today. Hey, Jimmy G, what's up? Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful view. You're looking at Midtown Manhattan. Scroll over. Ooh. Now, way off in the distance there, there's your Freedom Tower. Which used to have it used to be where the twin towers were prior to 9-11 I'll walk around this little park here it's kind of a cool park it's got great views what's up Bigardo what's up Charlie I'll turn the camera around now, while you're in the park, you have to wear a mask for social distancing. Let me show you a little bit more of this park here. So just great views all the way around from this park. And people come here every day just to get a view of Manhattan. Now that's to the east. So you're seeing a reflection of the sunset in the glass. But just beautiful. Down in this area, there's been lots of development, condominiums, luxury apartments. And that's the way I'm gonna go home, towards the George Washington Bridge. So I'll leave, go down, and take that all the way up and cross the Hudson River. But for right now, I'm just enjoying. It is an amazing skyline. So the uh, World Trade Center, my mother used to work in the World Trade Center. She worked in Tower, I think she was in Tower 2, on the 102nd floor. And I'd, I've, I've been up there myself. This is a nice little sitting spot. I don't want to disturb this woman. She seems like she's, seems like she's enjoying it. But I'll go up and then when I'm up there, I'll try to be quiet. Am I bothering you if I come up here? You don't mind me talking? Okay. It's beautiful, right? It's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, Jimmy G. So I was in Turkey, believe it or not, on 9-11. I was there traveling with for uh, a company. I worked for Honeywell. And I was looking at a, a hotel, Conrad, in Istanbul for a international meeting. And... It happened, it was about 3 o'clock, I believe. O'Keefe from Ireland. What's up, brah? I'm bothering, I'm bothering you. <laughs> ah, Mark Jones, what's up? Yeah, 9-11 was sad. But 
I'll keep going down. You can walk for miles and see the view. The, the prime view is from here, Midtown, down to um, downtown in the Wall Street area. Just beautiful. Uh, it's been a hot day today, and it's just starting to cool off, guys. So it feels good to be out here. That's one of the ferries. So the park is called Hamilton Park. And not only does it have just beautiful views of the city, but it just has nice spaces to sit. Um, with some lush greenery. Yeah, Hamilton Park in West New York, New Jersey. So you could come here any night and watch the reflection of the sunset in the glass. But good green space. So we'll leave Hamilton Park and I'll show you uh, Boulevard East. And then I'll be able to take this mask off when I leave the park. So this is new, these bikes that you can rent. And I'm wondering if this is an e-bike. Because if it's an e-bike, we might need to do them. Steve W. This isn't an auto review, Steve. But this is pretty cool. I've seen these around in Manhattan. Register rental parking in return. Looks like a standard bike, but if it had an E system in it, Cleveland has the battery powered scooters. So does uh, Hoboken. What I think is equally beautiful in this area are all these old homes with this prime view. You see? Equally beautiful. The Weehawken War Memorial. I've always known this area to be West New York. But I think West New York might be down that way. And Weehawken is that way towards Hoboken. Pedro, is this bringing you back to home? Is this making you sad, bro? So you can walk this for miles. Yeah, I know. I wish you were here, bro. We, we could walk it. Now, Pedro, when you were here, they didn't have all these luxury apartments and condos down in, that's uh, going towards Edgewater. But you can walk this for, for miles. And just the beautiful, like, look this guy up here. If I can zoom in. I mean, what kind of a life does he have? Be a beautiful view of Midtown Manhattan every day. Easy commute into the city. Across from his deck. You can't beat that, guys. I can take my mask off now. And I'm going to put it up when people pass me. There's been a trend in the cities to have a workable green space. So on top of this building over here, I just noticed lots of green space. I don't know if that's like a real green, real grass, or if it's like that true turf grass. I guess it wouldn't make sense to do the fake stuff. A very, very nice. Astro turf. Yeah. All right, check this out, guys. Now this is pretty cool. What's up, Scottish? What's up, brah? So this is pretty cool. You can take this down. I'll walk it down and huff. I'll huff it down. And uh, this takes you all the way down towards those luxury apartments, down towards the waterfront. Pedro, this may have been a rickety old staircase when you were here, but they've really put a lot of money into this is what, what's called the Gold Coast. 
So back in the late 80s and the 90s, lots of money poured into this part of the world because someone woke up and said, look at this beautiful view we have of New York City and we're not doing anything with it. All right? Look at that, guys. Look at that. Okay. Just a, it's a nice hike. And wonderful views. Is there a hospital on the lower level? Um, I think you're talking about the Palisades Hospital. And that's in Jersey City. So a few miles south of where I am right now. But look at this, guys. Now I'm, I'm seeing somebody's got a giant TV. What's up, Mark Call? Good. I'm going to go down there, guys, and I'm going to try to work, work my way over to the water. If we can do that, we're going to do that today. It is indeed a beautiful view, Mark. How are you feeling, brother? I was thinking about you today. I was thinking about you, Mark. Hoping you're feeling better. Wishing for you to get through this tough time. Okay, so if we wanted to, I'm going to get a nice shot of this Vespa. So down there in New York City. Up that way, we're going to go back up to Weehawken. Barber shops are open. I went to the barber today. I went to my guy today, and it wasn't a secret haircut today. It wasn't a secret cut. I told him, cut it as close as you can. He laughed at me like, dude, your hair is, you're losing your hair. <laughs> so I said, cut it as close as you can cut it. All right, back to the, the view. So we're going to walk down towards the skyline. I'm going to see if I can find some outdoor restaurants just, just, just to show you. If you do it right, guys. Like I said, the numbers in New York right now are, are as low as they've ever been. I believe a couple of days ago was the first day that there were no reported fatalities of the COVID. So if you're going to visit New York City, this might be the time to come. Um, just beautiful, guys. Mask up. Just a wonderful thing. Four hours away from me. Do it, bro. Do it. Take a road trip. Take a day trip, you know? A couple of days. Get out. Enjoy yourself. I apologize for the shaky video. I'm going to pick up some... Yes, mandatory masks in uh, New York, New Jersey... Uh, social distancing. <laughs> social distancing. You know the you know the drill. Can you give a shout out to your kid? Yes, Ethan G. Ethan, is that right? Ethan G. What's up, brah? <laughs> Ethan G. Tell your dad to bring you to New York. Because he's a good dad. You tell that father of yours, you tell him the, the average guy sent you and he wants to come to New York. Ethan G. So this is called River's Edge, this building complex right here. I haven't been down here, but I'm looking, Ed, I'm looking at what you asked me for, I believe. I believe you asked about outdoor eating. So let's check it out. Outdoor eating.
This is a place that looks nice. It's Greek and Mediterranean cuisine, Molos. Looks very nice. Look at that. Beautiful. This is some place I need to bring Jackie. She would love this. And people are eating outside. Again, just beautiful views. We have some outdoor tables right here. Beautiful views of Manhattan. Public. Yeah, it looks very nice. I'm going to make a reservation here. Port Imperial is where the ferry is. We're not too far from Port Imperial. The place I was just at is called Molos. M-O-L-O-S is the restaurant. It's a Greek restaurant. All right on the water. Uh, but if you come to this area, the Weehawken area, Weehawken, New Jersey, it's just it's a nice area, guys. I'm going to walk this way. And we're going to get a little closer to the... Uh, to the subject. They've developed miles and miles of walkways here with spectacular views of New York, guys. Just, you can't beat it. You can't beat it today. Look at that. I do see lots to cyclists um not down here i'm gonna put this down for a minute not a lot of cyclists here um on the walkway but yeah all around the city hoboken weehawken is that a segway segway no what is it uh electric unicycle you mind if i film you yeah no you're live it's live that's nice what what's the manufacturer <laughs> what is it Is it your company? No, no, no. No, that's beautiful, man. I love that. King Saw. King, King Saw? Yeah. King Saw. Look at that. King Saw. I've never seen that before. Is it easy to learn? No, it's not. <laughs> I'm on it for like a month now. It's so difficult. Oh, you look good, man. Thank you. Enjoy. All right, have a good day. All right, you too. Stay safe. So we're going to have to look into that. So they've invested lots of money building these walkways with these just beautiful views. This goes probably for as long as you can walk. It's funny when you, uh, I haven't really ventured into this area for many, many years. And it's funny when you come to an area, especially like this, where there's been a lot of development and you're just like floored by all the new development. This leads to West New York, you're right, yes. Pedro, you know. Pedro, you should come back and we could do tours together. We could do like a, a tour guide of New York. I just want you guys to answer this question. How many channels, how many, give you reviews of today's most popular cars, trucks, SUVs, even the assorted minivan, shaving videos, consumer electronics product reviews, beautiful New York vistas, travel and food, how many? Can you think of how many? Only one. All right, I want to show you this, guys, because this is awesome. So imagine this is your, your place to spend some time with that as your view. Not a bad view. I am always taking business inquiries. Hit me, brah. Ooh, almost got hit. I said hit me and he almost hit me. So this looks to me to be a tribute to 9-11, like a memorial. But well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out what it is. Uh, we got some dancing here. All right, what is this? 
All right, let's see. Yeah, in honor of... What's up, Zach? In honor of the nearly 3,000 people who perished in the attacks of 9-11. So this is, I guess, part of the building structure. I wish I could uh, show you that. Everybody's happy. People are just doing their thing, you know? People are just doing their thing. I am, for the fellow who asked about business inquiries, please uh, shoot me an email, contact me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram where you can send me a direct message. Same at the Media Mart. I'm always happy to talk business. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. Look at that. Beautiful. That's like jewelry. It's like jewelry. It's a perfect picture, guys. Oh, Freedom Tower. People wanted to see the Freedom Tower. There's the Freedom Tower. Sorry about that, that was a delayed response. Thank you, fella. Fellow, I'm going to say you are a fellow rooster. You can correct that. But everybody's chill, you know, everybody's just chilling out. There's that monument. Done a lot of that in this area, guys. Lots of, uh, uh and a Dalmatian over there. You gotta love Dalmatians. <laughs> They got a, there's my buddy again. There you go. Look good, man. That is cool. Well, that's a cool king saw. We're going to have to look that up. The king saw. People are chill here. You know what? There's no anxiety right now, right here. You got a beautiful view. There's lots of space. It's free. Hello from Iowa. Rock something or other. I didn't see that, but I saw a hello from Iowa. Hello from New York. Now, if you haven't seen any of the content on my channel, this is not like much of the content I do, but doesn't mean you shouldn't subscribe today because I live here and my plan is to get get out into New York and the area and do more videos like this. So if you like this type of content, more is on the way. I also do auto reviews and consumer electronics, product reviews and food and travel. A little bit, it's a variety channel. Beautiful. You gotta love it. Trying not to be in anyone's way. So Pedro was asking about the cyclists. Now I think he's seeing we got some cyclists. Beautiful walking community over here, guys. If you can afford it. If you've got a high paying job in Manhattan with a eight minute ferry ride across the water. You should come to New York, Pedro. And we'll, we'll rent some bikes, and we'll do some bike tours, and kick it. Because it's definitely beautiful here. I had a great conversation today. I was jazzed up. I spoke to a, a friend that I haven't spoken to in a while, who's thinking of starting his own YouTube channel. And the guy just has like, he's like a really creative guy. And he'll make great videos. His name is Orlando. And he got me so jazzed talking about the potential of his channel. I was jazzed up. But here, you don't want to see me. Look at that, guys. Look at that. You can't 
can't you can't beat it with a stick. Can't beat it with a stick. Up towards uh, Harlem, the Bronx. Beautiful. And look at the grass. Nice, lush, green spaces. Another cyclist. Nice little portico. Not a portico, what is that called? Oh, look at this, look at this. There you go. Right, there, there you go. There you go. He's the real winner right there. That's the real winner. There's another cyclist for Pedro. Got some runners. Beautiful spaces just to sit. There's another one of those bikes. They got to get more of these bikes up. Or the scooters. This is an interesting little nook over here. You could bring your bring your lunch and sit here. Just chill. It's chill, guys. Look at that. You can't get better than that, guys. I'm gonna keep walking until I can't walk anymore. No, I gotta get going. But over here, I believe is Port Imperial, which is where you can take the ferry from here over to Manhattan. Midtown, or you can go to, down to Wall Street, down by the Freedom Tower. I've taken it many a times. It's the sensible way to get into uh, Manhattan from New Jersey. It's a sensible way. Hope the audio is still good, guys. Yep, here comes some music again. We gotta get past it. Because they'll monetize the hell out of me. Really, Pedro? Over there. I love it. This looks like a uh, e-bike. E-bikes are like blowing up everywhere. Pedro, how do you feel about an e-bike? I love them. I'm fascinated by e-bikes. Here's a new building that's still being worked on. Look at that luxury right there. <laughs> the guy has, has a Ferrari hat on, and you, you know he probably owns a Ferrari. It's not one of those fake Ferrari hats. Here's a little thing for the kitties. But look at these, look at these, uh, look at these balconies, guys. With that as your view. It doesn't suck. It doesn't suck, guys. It doesn't suck. So there'll be more balconies on this side. And again, people are chill. All right, well, I've done enough damage for tonight. I'm going to turn around and go back. Um, go back from where I came from, but I'll take you with me. A lot of transplanted New Yorkers in Florida. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tax system is favorable in Florida. The weather is warm. Take care, Zach. I'll see you next time, bro. Oh, where I am. Yes, a lot of trains. Yes, yes. Because, you know, it's expensive in, in Manhattan, guys. It's expensive. It's 
So it, it's expensive and there's no property. So here you have the beauty of a little bit more space, these beautiful homes, beautiful view of Manhattan, and you don't have to go over a bridge to go out to get out of this part of the country. So if you want to go to Florida, there's no tunnel, toll, or bridge. You don't have to sit through traffic to get on the turnpike and just go. I'm walking a little bit of a different way now. I'm going through the heart of these, these condos. I'll leave information on this area in the description box below. And, uh, you know, hopefully you guys can come and visit. Oh, look at that. Sweet. Looks like a fancy club. A, a gym up there. We got somebody working out tirelessly. So the gyms are open, no mask. I guess if you live in luxury, you don't have to wear a mask. I don't know. Stevens Cafe. So my takeaways from this today are, um, you know, get out when you can, guys. Uh, be safe. Bring your mask. Give people their space. Project. Whatever you project is what you're going to get. Now, sometimes you can't avoid people that are like, out of their minds but I feel like when you're chill with people they're chill with you um, the energy you give out is the energy a lot of times you're gonna get back and uh, one last well I'll wait until it clears up a little but hey. but try to stay safe and uh, you know give people the space, oh look at this, you guys have to see this, like a little indoor pool action, River Pack Fitness, River Park Fitness, look at that, this is River Park Fitness, now it looks like the folks that live here I've encountered two types, types like me and types that live here. And I, I think the people that live here are the people that aren't wearing masks. And it makes sense to me. If you live in an area, you feel comfortable around your area, right? You're not going to wear a mask as much. You're walking around your block. But the touristy types, the day trippers like me, I'm seeing lots of masks, guys. Again, this is where we came up, came down rather. Molos. I'm gonna make a reservation and surprise Jackie. Bring her here. And now we're gonna start the trek back up from where we came. If we can get across the street, we're gonna go up here and up those stairs over to the car. So let's go do that. Up. One last look at New York as we're close. <laughs> yeah, my legs are gonna feel it, Danny. You're right about that, bro. Although, you know, lately I've been doing lots of moving around. I've been hiking. I've been walking. I've been on the bike. I'm getting older, man. So I'm trying to, trying to get the fitness up. And he's got a long hill to do. I don't know if you can see him. It's dark. but So he gets to that turn and he's going to be in a world of pain going up a slow incline here's more cyclists hello for pedro pedro likes cyclists lots of cyclists guys 
Mask up. It's it's uh, dark by you, Pedro. The New York City skylight is beautiful. Skyline right at, at sunset is beautiful, guys. All right, here we go. We're going to go up this. We're going to go up these stairs here, guys. I'll let this guy come down. And that's the struggle. That's the hill. All right, so here we go. Oh. Again, view of New York. This takes a little out of you. Hello back to Virginia. What's up? Hello from New York. Okay. Oh, you don't see. Does it smell? No, it doesn't smell fishy at all. It's very clean. As you can tell, I'm huffing and puffing a bit. Look at that guy, guys. How are you? Sorry. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? Gorgeous. And I'm almost up. Let me show you where I'm going. Right up there. And again down there. I want to thank you all for joining the live stream. Again, I'm going to be doing more of these videos from this area. And, uh, sorry. And, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Leave a comment. And I'll see you guys next time. But before I end it, I'll give you one more view of Manhattan when we get to the top. And then we're going to put this puppy to bed. Right here. Right here. Check this out, guys. It's Miller time. 